the albino paku named coral has been in the timeout I don't know like three four months now I had to take take him out of there because he was biting sick red tail catfish and then he was biting sick piraiba as it was dying the five foot piraiba so I took him out of there and put him in timeout but uh, today I decided to put him back in the 4500 gallon I haven't found a home for him if you know anybody who can house them house him here and could pick him up I'd appreciate it but he's gonna go back for now I'm trying to catch him to this old t-shirt. It's got a better give than the pillowcase. But it will not be easy. He's getting tired from this. T-shirt now.
So he's back. He hasn't eaten ever since I put him in the timeout. I was hoping he would eat. Coral, his nickname is. He was a rescue from like 2013 from Cape Coral. So we've had him. It's going to be 10th year now that since we had him. We got him at about a foot. He was destroying his old aquarium and everybody in it. Really nice family with like five children or something. Maybe by now they have ten. But yeah, he wasn't eating in the timeout. I don't know why. He was very stressed. Constantly afraid of me. He's still very, very thick and very powerful and, and he's not suffering at all. Paco can Paco store a lot of fat. For the dry season the lower third of their body is all fat reserves to survive the dry season when there is no food and everybody's confined into smaller pools. In the Amazon unless they happen to be in the main channel which is probably not always accessible and not always the case anyhow he's back I mean if anybody's falling ill again or if he starts to misbehave again he's gonna have to come out for good the next time and I will have to look for a home for him uh, in, in earnest Very, very miserable in that in that 300 gallon quarantine tank. I mean, had been very miserable. So eventually, I had to take a pity on him.